All right now, Miss Aurora is back, Secured Entrepreneurs. In this video, Miss Aurora has got to get into just how it is you're going to make money with your irrevocable trust. I have to get into this video because many of you have emailed, and I want to thank you for emailing. Please continue to do so at info at auroradayconsulting.com. Okay, I'm, I'm only going to hit on about five points in this video because I'm actually going to come live and discuss all of this. So you all who are asking questions can do that while I'm on live. You can ask about your irrevocable trust. You can ask about the uh, anonymous LLCs and the sole proprietor the CEO program. Okay, can we do it? All right. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you build six and seven figure tax free businesses. You heard it right. Stick around. And we all know that this is the secured entrepreneur movement. Okay, for the entrepreneurs who are visiting and you have not come on board yet, you are not yet a secured entrepreneur. You need to join the sole proprietor to CEO program. It is starting on August the 1st. That is a Thor's day at 4 p.m. PDT. Yes, when you come on board, you will have the opportunity to have your anonymous LLCs done. You're going to get two. You will have the opportunity to have your private trust created. You will get 90 days consulting, business consulting with Miss Aurora. You will have your business credit program together for your LLCs that you'll be doing with Miss Aurora. You will join the a secured entrepreneur movement community. You will have access to all of the courses. There's a whole lot more. So I want you to go to the link in the description box. I believe that's bit.ly backslash SP to CEO group. Okay. Come on in now secured entrepreneurs. One of the things that we are consistently getting in emails here is about, you know, things about jobs and the problems and, and individuals who are still, you know, connected to jobs because of these reasons, you know, how difficult it is to come out here and build a business when you are not receiving support. Okay. Miss Aurora can tell you firsthand uh, again, been there, done that still here, still doing that. Okay. This is not, you know, I'm not going to pick the picture and I never do. You all hear me say, you know, if you can, if you can get a gig, a, a good gig that is supporting you while you're doing your business. As long as you understand that your business is actually supposed to be a real business, not like a, a, a side hustle or a hustle or anything like that. You know that you need to be in business, which is what we're here for the secured entrepreneur movement. All right. You know, so Miss Aurora supports all of that. I want to point something out. One of the things that recently truly affected me was when I heard Sharon Doherty speaking about you know, her, her cancer. And she stated that when she announced that she had cancer, the work dried up. Now, when the work dried up, she was no longer able to keep her SAG medical benefits. All right. This is a real thing. And I know that many people often forget that our favorite actors and actresses have a job. They have to get employed. Okay. And as long as they work so many hours, they get to keep their medical benefits. Okay. It's the same. It's no different than uh, what you all heard me speaking about in the other video that you're commenting on. Okay. Understand that. Please understand that. You know, this is the reason why we were so stunned when we heard that, uh, uh you know, brother Chadwick Bozeman died of cancer. We were like, when did this happen? Like we never heard about it. That's right. Come on out and start telling people that you've got this debilitating disease and see how fast you will not work and you will not have your medical benefits. Do you think that you're the only class of people under the gun to keep a job that's connected to your medical benefits? No, take a real hard, long look at the many industries that you are admiring. These people, they have to, they, they got, they have to have medical benefits too. When I tell you that we're in a country that is built on slave labor and that slave labor is connected to your medical benefits is a very real thing for a whole lot of professions. Okay. So this is why we do what we do here in the secured entrepreneur movement. We have to be a community. We have to support one another. We have to keep each other informed about the things that we need to continue to build businesses. Okay. 
without having to be, you know, get into get into the sheets with some dirty, raspy, rude boys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know, Mr. Aurora has heard it all. All right. So the very first thing I'm going to get into in this video, as it relates to how your trust is going to make money, dividend paying investments. Now, everyone here in the secure entrepreneur movement, all of these secured entrepreneurs know that Miss Aurora teaches you how to create your brokerage accounts with your irrevocable trust. You need to have these trust entities creating these accounts so that when you pull down those dividends, you are not the individual who will be paying tax on the income. We already know that it's either the trust is holding on to these dividends for a beneficiary payout to which the, the beneficiary could receive a tax free gift of the money. Okay. Because we're all about tax free wealth here in the secured entrepreneur movement, or the trustee is going to hold on to those dividends for whatever the reason and file a 1041 tax return to pay tax on that income. But what trustee in their right mind is really going to do that? Pay attention. This is why I tell all the visitors, please go down in the description box and click the link for mastering tax-free wealth so that you can follow along with what Ms. Aurora is teaching. Okay. So you're going to make sure that your trust is the entity that is getting involved with all of the dividend paying investments. The second thing that Mr. Roy is going to touch on in this video is rental income. Now I have to go here because we have a lot of secured entrepreneurs who are in the real estate game. Their entities have purchased some real estate, whether it be a, a few of you have buildings, a few of you have apartments that come with all types of fees and you're trying to get out of that. We'll get into that in another video because Mr. Rora has a lot to say about that. And then a few of you have single family homes. So many of you have had the opportunity because the homes were affordable. You have had the opportunity to transfer ownership over to your irrevocable trust. Now the trust is collecting the rental income again. The income is coming into this trust entity and there will be a beneficiary payout that can be a tax free gift to that beneficiary. Okay. Whether that's an individual, whether that's another irrevocable trust, whether that is a, a, another limited liability company. Okay. Whichever it is you, you choose as to the way you have created your irrevocable trust entity. The third thing that I'm going to touch on is business ownership. Now we've had a lot of secured entrepreneurs come on board who have been involved with other companies and they have interests in these other companies. They no longer want to hold the interests because they no longer want to live a 1040 lifestyle. They don't want to pay tax on any of those things. So they want to transfer their interest into their irrevocable trust. Now, again, what's going to happen? That income is coming into that irrevocable trust, but you are no longer having to be the entity that is going to be taxed on that income. You want to have that income slide right on over into your irrevocable trust. And, and what's, and what, what are we saying? What does Mr. Aurora keep saying? There will be a beneficiary payout. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and that beneficiary payout can be a gift that is tax free. Get where Miss Aurora is going here. The fourth thing that Miss Aurora wants to talk about are charitable trusts. Ever since we did the video on charitable trust, we received a lot of emails about the video and many of you came on board because you watched that video. Okay. So when it is that you create an irrevocable trust that is going to serve a charitable purpose, whether that be public or private, you have the opportunity to bring in gifts, donations, all right, tax free. So it's very important to know 
just how it is this charitable trust. So if you're, if you're creating some type of charitable remainder trust, okay, you already know that not only, not only, you know, is this money coming in, these gifts, these donations, maybe some tithes, depending on if it's ministerial, things like that. Okay. You already know that you're going to be able to collect all of that money tax free. And again, the beneficiaries of this charitable trust will have the opportunity to collect the payout tax free. The fifth thing that Miss Aurora wants to get into is private equity. When it is that you know how to leverage your trust entity for high return investments, that's a pretty decent ticket. Okay. Because we know that the private equity investment is more of a long-term situation. It's more of a long-term capital gains situation. And there again, you're looking at a beneficiary payout of some long-term capital gains that you were able to get in on because you allowed your trust to make these investments in these private companies. Okay. Now we know that when we invest in these private companies, that's a higher risk. So you're getting a much higher return. Okay. So for the entrepreneurs who have not done your research, you have not looked into how it is you're going to utilize your trust entities to begin to make money and real money, and then make that money tax free. That's what the secured entrepreneur movement is here for. Okay. We're here to assist you with that. So that's what Mr. Aurora wants to share in this video. Again, I'm going to go live and, and really get into all of the, all of the five things that I'm discussing here in this video. So I'll do that this week. Okay. You all know you can find me, Miss Aurora Day at auroradayconsulting.com. And until next time, ta